Hi guys, how are you today? Remember, we were learning something about the central nervous system that we have to explain more. So, this is the planning for today. We are going to explain the functions, the general functions for the central nervous system and so the encephalon. And then we don't have to forget about the structures that are protecting all of these structures inside our bodies. Finally, we are going to explain the parts that compose the central nervous system and we are going to relate every function with each part. And with this, we will be finishing this. So I expect you enjoy this too much and see you. Okay, welcome back again. Today we are going to continue with our course and remember uh, we explained something about the central nervous system but we didn't give so many details. So for today we are going to continue with our presentation. Okay, let's go to the slide in which we left the other day. Okay, as, as you probably remember, okay, this is the this is the encephalon, okay. It's composed by the brain, by the cerebellum and also the brain stem. And we have to we explain the spinal cord and we also give you some information about the white matter and the gray matter, okay? Remember the white matter and the gray matter, okay? Do you remember this? Okay, let's continue. So the nervous system. Uh, this is the, these are the function of the uh, central nervous system. So, just for summarizing, it receives. Okay, this is the first one. So, I'm trying to. Okay, it receives the information transmitted by the sensory organs. It, it interprets that information and prepares an adequate response. Okay, it transfers the necessary signals to the factor organs. Okay. Also, it coordinates all the organs so that they function correctly in our body. This is quite important because we've got several organs, several systems that they, they must uh, work coordinated. Okay? Uh, also, quite important for the central nervous system, it carries out intellectual functions and mental functions. Okay, This is uh, crucial for the human being. And also, finally, it's responsible for emotions and feelings. Okay. Uh, these are the functions of the central nervous system. Receives, interprets, transfers, coordinates, uh, carries out intellectual and mental functions and also develops emotions and feelings. Okay, uh, Okay. let's continue. So, uh, all of these structures, the central nervous system, I mean, must be protected because it is quite important for us to, to keep our health in, in these organs, okay? Also the, the encephalon and the, and the spinal cord. So for that we've got uh, different structures just for doing this. The, the very first one, yeah, okay, we're here, are the skull for protecting the encephalon and the spine from, for protecting the spinal cord. Those are bones, okay, bone structures. Okay, these two. So thanks to them we can protect our bodies. But also we we've, we've got three membranes, three different membranes that are covering the encephalon and the brainstem. These are called the meninges. Okay, the meninges we've got them here. Okay, we've got three kinds of meninges. The dura is the outermost layer. Okay, we've got the dura outside. Here, okay, the dura mater is this, okay, this membrane of here, the arachnoid which is in the in the middle, okay, the arachnoid is this structure here, okay, it's like a like a spider web, so for that it's called the arachnoid, okay, and the pia mater which is the the last one, okay, which is inside here. Okay, sorry, it's, it's this one. Okay, it's protecting, it's attached directly to, to the to the organs of the central nervous system and is protecting all of this part. Okay, so uh, between them there is a fluid that it is called the, serous, the serospinal fluid. Okay, this one of here. And thanks to them, uh, we, we can 
um, we can be aware of heats in our okay in our in our structures. Okay, we, we can we can avoid this this uh, this um, ex extremely dangerous uh, heats in in our in our organs. Okay, um, so let's continue. Okay, the brain or the cell alone is made up of uh, the brain, the cerebellum, and the brain stem and, and the spinal bulb. Okay, so we've got three components for the encephalon the brain, the cerebellum, and the brain stem. Okay, we're talking about the encephalon. Don't forget about this. Okay, so let's begin talking about the brain. The brain made up two hemi hemispheres, okay, two parts. Uh, this is the okay, this is the frontal, this is the the right hemisphere and this is the left hemisphere okay because this is a, a frontal cat okay uh, both hemispheres are connected by um, a mass of white matter called called the corpus callosum okay the corpus callosum is this uh, structure of here sorry because I can I can find myself okay this is the corpus callosum this mass of white matter that connects two hemispheres Okay, and also the cerebral cortex. Okay, the cerebral cortex is the outermost layer of the brain, and it's full of folds that are called circumvolutions and fissures. Okay, uh, circumvolutions are shallower than fissures, but they are important just yes, to save a space inside our, our skull. Okay, this is quite important for mammals and extremely important for the human evolution I mean the evolution of the brain of the human being okay so these folds are uh, quite important just to to increase the surface of the brain cortex okay so in this in these images that I leave you we've got okay the different areas of the of the brain of the brain cortex okay and every of this area is involved in different functions okay for example this is the primary visual, visual cortex okay uh, we've got another primary auditory cortex here okay in, in the in the temporal area we've got a primary motor cortex you know the in other place okay this one for example and a, another primary motor cortex in in other in other way. So the the brain um, the the brain cortex is classified into different areas, and every area they belong one a particular function. So let's continue with this. Okay, what are the functions of the brain? The first one is that it receives information from sensory organs quite important okay as we explained in previous classes apart from the organs responsible for balance okay also it contributes for the balance uh, of the body and produces the corresponding sensations or feelings okay uh, this uh, this uh, sensations or feelings are going to be produced by our brains uh, the nerve pathways that transmit this information come to an end in a specific areas of the cerebral cortex as we've just explained uh, a couple of minutes before. Uh, also, it processes the information received and produces responses and signals for the effector organs. Okay, so it receives and it processes information. It processes information. Okay. So it receives, it processes information. Okay. So it coordinates and controls the functions of every part of the nervous system. Okay, it's, a, it's the main place in which this is going to happen, and also it controls higher nerve functions, like, for example, this is quite important, memory, reasoning, intelligence, conscience, and will, okay, important to remember this, okay, the higher nerve functions, this is extremely important for the human being, okay, and also receives and processes information and send the information and it coordinates and controls all the nervous system. Okay, let's continue with the encephalon. Now the cerebellum it is made up of gray matter outside and the white matter outside that uh, creates this uh, tree shape uh, shape 
which is called the Tree of Life. Okay, the Cervelo is also famous for for this. Okay, this name, the Tree of Life. So the Cervelo is important for keeping the balance. Okay, so um, it takes the information from the inner ear, as we explained before. Do you remember? And also, and also, it coordinates motor impulses sent by the brain. Okay, so it takes the information of balance from the inner ear and also coordinates motor impulses. Okay, this uh, component of the brain could be stimulated uh, practicing exercise. So, in 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 in, in people who practice sport, this uh, this cerebellum is going to be more developed. Okay, so sports helps you cerebellum to develop. Okay, um, so let's continue. And now the brainstem is the most complicated part of the of the of the cephalon. So, <coughs> um, okay, don't don't be don't be lost. Okay, so the brainstem is um, okay is this part of here is the middle part of the brain and it links it links the brain the, it links the brain and the cerebral with the spinal cord okay so the brain stem links the encephalon to the spinal cord and controls diverse involuntary functions quite important okay so important to remember involuntary functions okay controls diverse involuntary actions it also regulates sleep visual and auditory reflexes okay blood pressure among others okay so for that it's quite important to to keep or to avoid uh, hits in this place okay um, okay, another um, components of the of the brainstem are the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. Okay, the thalamus, which is this one, the hypothalamus, which is this other, and the pituitary gland, which is this part of here. Okay, so the hypothalamus uh, is connected uh, and con uh, with the with the pituitary gland and controls all the endocrine system okay the, the it reduces some regulatory hormones that are going to be sent to the pituitary gland and at the same time the pituitary gland is going to produce some hormones that are going to control to control the endocrine system but we are going to to explain this in, in another class okay the spinal bulb is an ex, is an extension of the spinal cord okay and uh, through it, uh, as sending neural pathways passes through it. Okay, so it's like a like a link, like a pathway from afferent nerves and afferent nerves. Okay, so these pathways cross, they cross. Okay, so this is important to remember. The right side of the brain receives the information from the left side of the body, and the left side of the brain from the right side of the body. So that means that for controlling my left hand. Okay, this uh, this mo these motor impulses are produced in my right side of the brain. Okay, because it it's crossed in the in the spinal valve. Okay, uh, more things. Okay, and with this, uh, I think we could uh, finish this unit. So, if you have any doubts, uh, remember just yes, to to contact me, and don't forget to study a little bit. I see you in the next class.